Hi, I'm Lucy. My Chinese name is Yue Nanxi. The first character is in Yue the Yue because I'm musical、um, and I love music. And then Nan because I live in a southern country. I was born in Canberra and I was raised in Sydney. And I want to represent Australia and you know create a beautiful connection with China. She is in、um, hope for the future. All my life, I've had this、uh, attraction to China. I was 16 years old. My mother's friend was living in China, and she came to visit my mum. She said, "Does Lucy want to go?" And I was like, "Yeah, I want to go to China." It really changed my life because it was so different. It felt for me like I was a character in a book. I was able to attend a Chinese high school for one day. Oh my god, this high school! Wow, it was yeah, it was like a movie set. As a young girl, kind of、uh, forming opinions and ideas around about the world, it was like yeah, it really opened my mind. And then came back to Australia. My high school, I just wanted to study Chinese, but I was really curious about it, so I did it. By myself, I did like long distance learning and tried to teach myself Chinese. I would go to my school library when everybody else was in the class. Like I had a different, so people would go to one class, and I'd be like, "I'm going to try my Chinese class." I would go to the library, and then they had a phone, like a old, you know, landline phone,、um, and I would sit down, and then I would have my class over the phone with a workbook. Actually, if I look back, I'm proud of little Lucy for doing that, for going to so much effort. <laughs> So、after that,、um, I went to University of New South Wales and studied music. But I had some art subjects. I, I chose Chinese because I kind of knew a little bit, and I thought I want to continue. Then there was a summer program where you could go to、um, Kunming for two months, Yunnan Normal University. So I experienced the Chinese student way of life. And then、um, after university, I did like Han Yu Chao. One great thing that happened during that Han Yu Chao competition. Was that I sang How Roots? I think that was my winning moment because after the competition, my, my language wasn't good enough to continue. But I was scouted、um, by multiple people for my singing, and I was able to go to China. China Cultural Center invited me to go to China and to sing in Beijing for like an、um, international kind of choir thing. And then I also went over to Shanghai Jiao Tong Da Xue. They had like international music festival after university and singing around Australia at different Chinese events. I said, "Okay, it's time to get to business. It's time for me to fix my Chinese. Also, if I improve my Chinese, I can sing better in Chinese as well, and maybe write some songs. I would love to combine my musical background." And being an Australian, create this cross-cultural art. Middle of 2018 to middle of 2019, and then we moved to Shanghai for one year. I studied at Shanghai、uh, Jiao Da. I want something where I can make difference and make change. So whether that's in Australia or China, but I still have a special skill. I can still write in Chinese music, and no one else is doing that right now. So I feel like that's okay. Definitely, my my time in Shanghai and learning has made me way more proficient in writing Chinese lyrics and singing in Chinese. So I was just feeling so happy and so lucky. The second prize to have this flight to be able to go back, reconnect with China, reconnect with Chinese, you know, music and culture.、Um, that's the goal. But I feel like right now nobody knows who I am. So maybe, maybe if I can release this music and do some busking in China, because the goal is to create something together. So we have Australia and China working together. My heart is calling for China. <laughs>、um,